I just love to see students getting excited about voting. Isabella Fries is the president of College Democrats at IU. She says the group so far has helped more than 400 students register to vote. A lot of students don't know that they can register to vote here in Bloomington and it can be a lot easier for them if they vote here. We're also um, doing a direct outreach. Chuck Dunlap says the Indiana Bar Foundation's Kids Election Program is helping eligible high school juniors and seniors register to vote and getting thousands more kids statewide engaged in the election process. We think we're on pace to have at least 10,000 students participate. Dunlap says this kind of outreach is crucial as many first-time voters don't realize Indiana residents can't register to vote on election day. October 7th is the date um, that you can register by in Indiana if you are not yet registered. And as long as you have either a driver's license or a state issued ID, you can register within a few minutes. If they are registering online, it's up until 11.59 p.m. But if they're doing it in person, they, they need to check their local election uh, board hours. But some groups like Common Cause Indiana say a bill signed into law this year could make it more difficult for new voters to register. It's going to require them to prove their residency. And for high school students, college students, young adults who have moved back home with their parents, uh, that can be a difficult thing to do. Indiana also doesn't allow all voters to mail in their ballots. Vaughn says you should check with your county to see if you qualify. You have to fit into uh, certain categories, be elderly or disabled be out of the county or be working all day on election day. Vaughn says even if you voted in the past, be sure to visit indianavoters.in.gov. That's the statewide voter portal to check your voter registration. If you have recently moved or have recently married and changed your last name, you will have to update your voter registration. Reporting in the newsroom, I'm Hannah Adamson.